Hey everyone, happy Refugee Week. So we might proceed. Um, so I'd like to officially welcome everyone um, to the Welcome from the Heart event, our Refugee Week event for 2020. Um, please note that this is being streamed live on Facebook, so if you wouldn't like to be seen, please um, turn your camera off. Before I go any further, I am actually going to hand over to a special guest that we have today, um, Jazz Money. I'm going to read her bio and then I'm going to hand over to her um, to officially open our event today. So, who is Jazz? Jazz Money is a poet, a filmmaker, and an educator. Bradbury. Wiradjuri. I got it right yesterday. I didn't get it right today. But we're a Wiradjuri and European heritage. She was the inaugural winner of the Auntie Kerr Reed Gilbert Poetry Prize under 30s in 2019. And in 2018, she won the University of Canberra Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Poetry Prize and was shortlisted for the Nakata Brophy. Jazz is grateful to live on the sovereign lands of the Gundungurra and Darug nations and acknowledges that the custodians of elders past, present, and many countries she walks upon. So over to you, Jazz. Welcome. Thank you, Rachel. Um, thank you, everyone. Uh, to begin, um, I'm going to speak in my Wiradjuri language just to acknowledge the countries of all the places that we're meeting on today. So. Um, Jazz you and Nadi, Wiradjuri, Yina, Baladu, Gandangara, Darug, Nurumbongwarana. So my name is Jazz, um, I'm a Wiradjuri woman. I'm on the land of the Darug and Gandangara in the Blue Mountains. Um, I'm so grateful to the Darug and Gandangara for their custodianship of this land since the first sunrise. And I pay my respects to all the elders and custodians of the many nations that we all meet upon um, and recognize that sovereignty of those countries was never ceded. This always was and always will be Aboriginal land. Um, so I was very touched when Rachel invited me to um, speak at this lovely event and um, hearing the beautiful theme. I wrote a poem for it, so um, I will, I'll read it now. <laughs> Do you hear the land's heartbeat, warm from the first sunrise, from the footsteps of the ancestors who work the land? Do you hear the way it carries ripples out from the center, on the sand and on the tides? The rivers know it, the gum and the wattle and the breeze knows it. The bright moments of stars guide us. It is a kindness, it is a generosity. It is saying, I see you, whole and here, complete and here, with all that you've been through and all that you've brought and all that you've had to leave behind. A heartbeat saying, thank you for sharing your strength. Thank you for adding to the pulse of this land. Saying I'm sorry that the journey isn't always easy and the people are not always kind. This is something the land knows all too well. Hear the heartbeat of the land saying welcome. We are together now, one home. So that when we fight, we fight together as one. One heartbeat in which we can hold one another heal one another, saying welcome from this heart to yours. That's it. Um, so that concludes my poem. Thank you all very much. I'll put myself back on mute. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Jazz. And can I, I thank you for that very warm and, and sincere welcome to, to, to country. Um, also, our acknowledgements to elders past, present, um, and uh, uh, also state that we uh, we stand shoulder and shoulder in the path for uh, 
true and lasting reconciliation and recognizing that this is Aboriginal land and never was ceded. So um, we, uh, we thank you very much for that, those, those, those warm welcome to country. Um, my name's Kamal. For those that don't know me, I'm the CEO at West Sydney MRC. Could I, could I firstly acknowledge Jazz for a wonderful contribution? Can I also acknowledge the chair of West Sydney MRC who's with us today and, and Vijay who's also from our, our, our board who's, who's joined us as well. But to everyone that, that's joined us as well, I, I think we might get a few more uh, faces joining us, but also to, to remind us that we're also live on Facebook. So we've got an audience also that joins us on, on Facebook as, as well. So thank you very much. Um, could I start with just, just a couple of words um, from myself? I've, I've, I've had the luxury, luxury and privilege of being CEO of West Sydney MRC for now 17 years. Um, and in that time, I've been engaged with many communities. And the welcome that I've received to those communities has been overwhelming. Um, it's been warm, it's been generous, it's been delightful. Um, and that welcome is a reflection of a sense of community. And at the heart of that community is the word welcome. I've been invited to homes, I've, I've been force fed food at events, I've been invited to family weddings, seen babies being born and, and the welcome has been a wholehearted and, and a very sincere welcome. Um, I've seen this personally and I've seen the word welcome in various incarnations from various backgrounds, regardless of the colour or race or circumstance. Everyone says welcome in their own way and that way can be very, very different, but it's always welcome as well. We live and feel this every day and this is a chance for us to celebrate. This is an opportunity to recognise welcome that exists always. Um, and if I could just reflect on something Jazz said in her poem, the land recognises that our journey has been difficult. Can I say the journey of the, that, that difficult journey that many of our communities have faced has not diminished the welcome. In fact, it's only enhanced. It's actually only served to bring out that wonderful warm spirit that our communities have. Um, we, are, we are part of something very special. This diversity, this richness in community, the commonality, the sameness, and its variance and its difference. The tapestry and colour that we have with our communities, I think, is, is a very special, a very special thing. I get the luxury of travelling around the world without ever having to leave Liverpool. Whether I'm dealing with Sydney's communities one day or Bosnian communities the next day or whether I'm dealing with Pacific Islander communities this uh, third day, I, I get, I get that, that, to that fortunate stage of having to deal with, 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 with the world in our local community. I get the sense of welcome every single day from all the communities that I, that I, that I work with and that we, that we deal together. So, so I would like to reflect that together we say welcome from the heart in our own way, in our own style, in our own place. So uh, in, in keeping, keeping with that theme of Refugee Week, uh, uh, I think that's, that's, that's a really important thing to recognise and, and to remember that we have our own way of saying welcome. I might also point out um, uh, Liverpool City Council has Liverpool, you know, Liverpool LGA is a, is, a, is a refugee welcome zone as well. So Liverpool Council also says welcome to, uh, uh, to refugee communities and that's, the ref and that's Council's way of saying welcome to the refugee communities of the local area. And we're very, very proud to have Council as one of our key partners in a lot of the services and the work that we do as well. So I wanted to acknowledge that, that, that our local community formally recognises and welcomes refugees to Liverpool as well. And that's something that we're very, very pr proud, of, proud to be a part of in the local tapestry of Liverpool. I hopefully won't be saying too much more because I'd like to generate some interest and talk for everyone around the table uh, and, and with us today. So I'm, I'm, going to, um, I'm going to pull back in just, in just a moment, but I do want to introduce next is a video reel. We have asked for contributions of videos that are coming through and we've had an extraordinary response. Rachel's been up all hours trying to edit and put together the, the videos that she's, that she's received and we've got 40 plus videos that we have received and we've been putting together. What we have is a reel of just some of those highlights. We could not capture all the videos and all the highlights that we've had. 
Um, so uh, what we'd like to do is to, is to show a small reel. Just before we do that, I'd like to thank each contributor to, uh, to, that made the video to us. They're up on our Facebook pages. We are promoting them there through our social media platforms. But if I could thank, uh, if I could thank everyone that contributed to that one um, and some of the organisations that contributed to that one, if I could thank them, and I'd like to name them at the moment, um, with the Iraqi Australian Christian Association, Arts and Community Development Organisation, uh, Islamic Women's Association of Australia, uh, the, the Mesopotamian Ensemble, Thrive Refugee Enterprises, and Thrive is with us in numbers today, so welcome Thrive. We've had Mums for Refugees that have contributed, Prairiewood High School, and last that I'd like to acknowledge here is the Australian Arab Affairs, but really everyone that contributed needs to be acknowledged and they are acknowledged on, 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 our, on our social media platforms. So with that, I think I might desist from talking so much and I might hand over to Rachel. It's going to play uh, the highlights reel for us and then hopefully we can come back and have, have a bit of a discussion amongst us. Thank you, Kamal. Thank you very much, Rach. Um, I'm going to, to hand back over in a moment, but can I say um, what struck me in in development of that of that uh, of those videos was how much not only do people want to say welcome themselves, but how many people from refugee backgrounds actually wanted to say that they felt welcomed. In, in addition to that, so I, I think that that uh, we this was a very warm. Uh, ex, uh, video and the, the messages that are coming through and you'll see them on, on the social media posts are extraordinary and overwhelming and um, uh, I, I'm, I'm so proud of the fact that we've, we've managed to tap into that, that, uh, that spirit and in that clip itself there were some faces that I knew and there are faces that we don't know. We've got a lot of people that have joined in that haven't traditionally been front and centre of some of this stuff. So it's very much tapped into a community feel and, uh, and a, a, a very warm welcome to the herd to, to communities. Um, so I should get back to my run sheet so I know what I'm doing next, shouldn't we? 
So I, I was, I, I actually wanted to ask, and 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 perhaps we could we could unmute and see how we go um, with the next session. I, I'd like to, to to elicit some discussion um, uh, from 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 our participants today, and and the wall of faces that I that I see. Um, in how do we? Um, how do we express our welcomes? I, I made reference to the fact that um, that welcome is demonstrated differently. Um, how how do you look at welcome yourself? How does it look like to you? And how do you do welcome in your own space with your own communities and your own service? We can, we, we, perhaps we could open that up to share that amongst some of our, our participants here. We don't get a, 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 it's always hard to start, isn't it? I should have got somebody to set up a start in that space. Um, well, uh, uh, Nadia, how, how, where, where's Nadia? I've, I've lost I'm Nadia. I'm here. Oh, there you are, Nadia. <laughs> how, how, do, how, do we, how do we say welcome at the MRC? How do, how do we welcome people and what does it look like in our space? Um, um, so, um, uh, first of all, my name is Nadia and I'm the Community Development Officer at the MRC. So how we welcome them, uh, first of all, with the smile, because I believe that smile is really important and that shows the, um, the welcoming. And um, so the smile, um, understanding um, the, uh, our clients and then listen to them. That's the most important. It's just to listen because sometimes um, you feel like, such a relief when you find um, an ear that can listen to you and can feel your struggle. And then also um, something that really uh, I like about the MRC, it's like we all have our journey and we all have um, experience um, that make, um, makes us like um, feel for them and then understand what they're going through. So um, this is how we welcome. And then personally, I... Uh, when I first arrived um, in Australia um, seven years ago, I felt that welcome from day one. And the reason why I joined um, MRC and I work in the community because I wanna uh, make others to feel welcomed because I know how important to have that feeling. Thank you. Thank you, Nadia, very warm. Well. Thank you very, very much for that contribution. Yes, claps there. Thank you very, very much. Um, Gus has unmuted himself, so I, I guess, um, please, how, how, how do you say welcome? How does Thrive say welcome? Well, um, first of all, I just want to thank you that uh, you guys have put this together and with all the videos and just uh, obviously very uh, emotionally driven. Uh, seeing all these people and all these lovely faces and happy faces as well. And they, they feel welcome in this country. I think we're, we're blessed to be in this country. Uh, that's from my perspective. I just want to, uh, the way uh, Thrive support, uh, we call Thrive Refugee Enterprise for a specific reason. We only help refugees in, in asylum seekers. Uh, and what we provide is another avenue for them to be able to economically integrate and socially integrate in the community and, and make them feel welcome, welcome, make them feel uh, that they can actually start their own business here in Australia. So <clears throat> one of the areas that we do is we, we lend them money, but also we support them, what they need to do uh, in terms of uh, starting their own business, what are the things uh, required for them to start their own business. We take them on a journey to actually feel, uh, you know, a lot of them, they want to start work themselves, but it's, it's sometimes it's difficult to find jobs. Uh, but there's another way to, to be self-employed, to start your own uh, business. And that's the journey that we take them on. And we have a lot of, a lot of clients that actually can testify to what, uh, you know, the, the journey, their journey here in Australia and how it was. Uh, we have a lot of people that actually on our Facebook and different areas, uh, a market team, Amy, who is there as well. Uh, she just, you know, she, she goes from one story to another about, uh, you know, the, the people, that, the smile that they have on their face 
<coughs> and thank you uh, uh, for what what's been done for them here in Australia. So I just want to thank you for every every uh, little thing that we do all together would help people to to just settle. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Gus. Thank you very very much for those for those warm words. And yes, Thrive um, have a very interesting and very valuable service they contribute as well. So. Uh, so I'd encourage all our, our friends um, to, to make sure that they're not familiar with Thrive to, to make sure that they do and, and, and get involved with what they with what, how they help as well. Thank you, Gus. We might send some, some links out after the event for some of the people that are around as well, Nadia. Uh, and Rachel, Nadia. Um, Nathan, Nathan has a couple of different hats on and you can't quite see it on the screen today, but uh, in your different spaces, Nathan, how, how do we say welcome and how, how, how how do we demonstrate and how do we demonstrate that? Yeah, so this by this was not set up. It's just the way it's happened. But uh, taking my my uh, MRC hat on and putting my counsellor hat on, um, I was just in a in an event uh, again via via Zoom that Liverpool Council is hosting called Welcome to Liverpool, uh, and that's a that's an event we hold um, pretty much quarterly where new new businesses and and that who have started up in Liverpool have an opportunity to come together, meet each other, um, speak to our council city economy team, um, speak to the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and as we know, there's a, there's a lot of research that tells us that um, refugees and migrants are overrepresented in numbers uh, regarding uh, you know small to medium enterprises. So um, while it's not specifically aimed at, at refugees and migrants, that is one way that that Liverpool welcomes um, you know new businesses to the area. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was by no it was just a, a perfect coincidence that I've, I've come out of the Welcome to Liverpool event and, and into this event. So um, serendipitous. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nathan. I very 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 much appreciate it. Um, rather than me tap somebody on the shoulder next, I'm going to see if there's anybody unmuted themselves that they'd like to speak and say a couple of words as how they say how they say welcome. Can I just add in here, I just want to welcome our team in there. I just want to name them, and I just, just for the sake of everyone. Uh, uh, Adrian from Melbourne uh, in there. Uh, Stephen from the Sydney office. Uh, Usha. Uh, Bill. There, yeah, you can raise your hand. <laughs> and Amy, I introduced earlier. Uh, yeah, this is part of our team in here. Um, four or five of us here are situated in Sydney and Adrian in Melbourne. And we will have another team down in Melbourne as well. Excellent. Just want to introduce everyone. Thank you very much, Thrive. Here, here in numbers, as I as I, as I said, so thank you very much. I, if, if you want, we, we, you, can, you can add to what Gus said if you think you didn't do a good enough job in a second, guys. But uh, <laughs> okay. but we'll, we'll, we'll spin it around a little bit. Thank you very much for acknowledging the team and, and that they're here yeah. today as well. Thank you very much for that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to, I'm going to ask Pio to say a couple of words um, about welcome and, and, and Pio who works with the MRC but also has some really strong links with our local Indigenous communities as well, as well as, as a very warm relationship with everyone that she works with. So uh, I, I might ask Pio, uh, Pio if she'd like to say a couple of words about how welcome looks like in her service, in her space, in her community, but you're going to have to take yourself off mute Pio first. You're still on mute. You're back on mute. Am I on? Yes. Oh, thank you, Tamar. Um, Talo Palava, Kiora, Buongiorno, and um, a bit emotional. Um, this gathering today, especially um, hearing um, Jazz. Are you still there, sister? As she left. I think she's with us. Can I firstly um, join in acknowledging um, as to Mark, our CEO, our family of the MRC, um, that heartfelt um, acknowledgement of country as a Wiradjuri woman. Uh, we are both speaking from the Blue Mountains, so um, can I acknowledge and thank you on behalf of the First Nation um, people in joining us today. Big aroha to you. Um, thank you for the opportunity to speak. Um, I'm the um, Family and Children's Coordinator. It's my
great privilege and honour to hold that role, to be able to work with the families and children of the um, migrant and refugee families. Um, welcoming um, for me is song and laughter. Welcoming for me is reflecting um, like a mirror to the people that um, come to the NRC, to the families and the children, reflecting back to them the dignity and the strength that they have. Um, Sister Nadia spoke about the smile and all of those areas. Um, and in our playgroups and family, we, um, we take time to sit and the deep listening um, to the families that we have. Um, song and dancing is a um, huge, plays a huge part in the program that we run with the families and the children um, to promote um, happiness and joy and um, to focus on um, the blessings and um, the, the, the happy things that are in our lives. I think that's one of the most important welcoming aspect that the MRC family has is the ability, no matter the, um, how hard the journey um, is and the challenges that are there, that um, we focus and, um, on the strength and the resilience um, of the families that we have. Um, I, um, I want to um, finish by thanking um, Annie Rachel and her team for bringing this um, awesome um, time together and um, um, saying hello and how, how beautiful it is to see everybody, um, Uncle Gus there and all of your team. Um, welcome from the heart. I might sing at the end of our meeting, if that's okay, Tamar, but... Well, uh, we're, we're very happy to hear you sing towards the end of the meeting, uh, and, and it'd be a nice way to, to certainly, uh, as, we, as, as proceedings uh, get to get to that point. Thank you very much, Pia. Yes, uh, Pia, Pia has lovely voice, and she gets everyone singing in the organisation on regular occasions, so we're in for a treat uh, in a little while. Thank you very, very much, Pia, for that. Um, I might uh, ask uh, uh, Jadwiga, I, I'm sorry if I've pronounced the name incorrectly, that's, that's, I'm pronouncing it as I see it, um, say a couple of words. We, we can't quite see you, but certainly we can see your name there. So um, I think you'd, you'd like to say something, um, if you'd like to join us, Jadwiga. Can we unmute? Okay, you're on, I think. Um, yeah, I think um, they have problem with the mic because I can see them like on mute, but like the mic is not working properly. Okay, well, perhaps we'll, we'll, come, we'll come. We'll come back to Jedi. We'll give, give an opportunity for them uh, for them to speak in a, in a, in a little while, um, and we'll, we'll go from there. So I'll, I'll op again open up to see who else would like to, to say. Actually, Jazz, you, you've you've been hearing this, and and you've provided us with a very very warm welcome. Um, uh, reflections. Um, is there anything more you'd like to add about how welcome looks like? I mean, you've provided the welcome for us to come to the country, but in your personal space, how welcome it looks like in, in, in your in your view? Sure. Um, I should I should note that uh, unless I'm on Wiradjuri country, I'm I'm not giving a welcome. I'm just giving it an acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Country. Country. Oh, yes. Um, okay. So for me, welcome is, um, as a Wiradjuri woman who lived off country, my, my home is um, central New South Wales, my homeland. Um, as someone who lives off country, it's really important to me to constantly be thinking about the traditional owners of the places where I live and work and, um, and occupy space and constantly be uh, acknowledging that that I'm only on this land with their welcome and with their blessing and that I'm, I'm really grateful always for um, that generosity that the land holds and the ancestors of the land hold. Um, so I guess for me welcome, welcome means a lot of things because welcome is culturally really significant but also 
Um, in a nation like Australia, where we have so many diverse groups of folk, extending that welcome outwards and making sure that people feel as though they're a part of this place is really important. And I think that's something that um, politics often gets wrong and that um, a lot of parts of our society really don't uh, value those welcoming moments as much as I think they should. And so I think from like a, a grassroots level and an interpersonal level, um, like I think Nadia said before, just like smiling and, and you know, exuding your, your welcome when you meet someone is really, um, is really important and beautiful. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jess. Um, I, I, I might throw, um, Jadwee does want to say something, but apparently we're having a problem with the IT. So I'll, we'll get back to that one in, in a moment. I know Thrive, Gus, you spoke from, uh, from you know, part of the Sydney office. Perhaps we should ask the Melbourne representative to say a couple of words about how, how, how Melbourne has done uh, with, uh, with, uh, with Welcome. How, how, do you, how do you demonstrate Welcome in, your, in, in Thrive, Melbourne? Uh, thank you for uh, the invitation and it's lovely to hear everybody and meet everybody for the first time. I, uh, my name's Adrian Ruggiero. I've only been here um, Thrive for the last two or three months. Um, so to hear the various comments and the, and the methods and processes used to welcome people um, from various backgrounds is most interesting. I think if I may um, say that one of the challenges that we face and does need to be discussed, especially during this current environment, has been the, the challenge of how to welcome people that you've met for the first time who are in need of your help, um, looking for support, uh, but you don't visually get to see and uh, your, your connection is via the phone. And so one of the challenges that we, that we face as Thrive is how do we connect with people, welcome them effectively, openly, uh, with a, a genuine intent, uh, especially when you're talking about business type related issues. Um, so that's one of the challenges that we face. And so what we've tried to do here in Melbourne and certainly New South Wales is the same is to be, is to use our voice, um, to be kind and friendly, um, to be genuine. And I think uh, that makes um, a, a huge difference in the way that we welcome people within, uh, within the, the confines of the, of the work that we do. Uh, we're blessed to meet people from a, a variety of, of backgrounds. And so I'm also trying to acknowledge the diversity of the people that we meet is something that we, uh, we, we, we we're trying desperately to respect and 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 and, uh, and adhere to. Um, that's as much as I think I, I can contribute at this point in time. But that's okay, I'm, 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 I, was, I was going to try and see whether whether Melbourne can chop Sydney in that space. So whether Sydney, <laughs> can Melbourne, so, uh, uh, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll spark an old an old an old debate. <laughs> They're still working on it. They're still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but thank you very much and uh, lovely to meet you all. Thank you very much, Steve, as well. Um, I, I, I note that there's a couple of names from, from some different organisations. I think we have um, somebody from, from TAFE and somebody from Advanced Diversity Services with us. Um, uh, would they like, uh, I'll give an opportunity for them if they'd like to speak in, in a moment, just, just, just let me know. Um, but what I might do is, um, is 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 handball across to you see i've made the melbourne reference there handball across to vj at, at the moment is also a board member at the mrc but uh, being active in different different spaces as as well he's also someone that carries a couple of hats so vj do you want to talk about how how malcolm welcome looks like in, in your space and in your services or your your, your your activities yeah sure thanks um I think as we've heard, there's a lot of different ways to say welcome. Um, it's such a diverse way of saying it in depending on who you are, and where you come from. For me personally, I'm a member of the Sri Lankan Tamil community. My way, my unique way of trying to say welcome is to listen really, because I think Gus touched on this a lot before. Um, everyone's got their unique, incredible story full of rich culture. like. And we can learn from that and one another. So I want to really say welcome by listening, like, and hearing the different stories that people have and learning from one another and learning different perspectives, how they live their life. Because I think that one makes my life more rich as well. And I think that's what life is really all about, listening to one another and learning each other's culture and stories. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Um, what I what I what I might do is also open up for a little bit of discussion and uh, and ask, particularly those that have been through a journey um, and a difficult journey. Um, what could we do to make welcome even uh, to, to to make the welcome better? How, what is it that we are uh, that we could do to 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 uh, to change to improve? And I'm, I am looking at a more broader sense. You know, what are some what are, what in our view is a, a missing element that we could do in either service provision and sort of a cultural way, a warm welcome, and, and that in 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 uh, in uh, in the sense of community. What more could, can we do to make welcome more, more real and to be more meaningful for people that have come across, that come along this journey that, and have arrived? Kamal, good morning. It's Mersalyn from Tape New South Wales. Welcome, Mersalyn. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, I've listened to everyone's welcome. It was, it's very inspiring and thank you very much. For me, it is nothing but all that you have all said, plus, making myself available to the outer com other community members of the, um, where we live on. And these are the people who are really hungry and waiting to be, uh, to be felt um, at home. And that's what we need to provide, I think, which we, and collab, and going on to the second aspect of what you requested, Kamal, um, I think working collaboratively with each other here as different organizations, I think we can make it even easier, their journey easier in this country that we live on. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mersla, thank you. Um, are you, Mersla, I might just ask you just to, to unpack a bit further. Um, uh, the team that you're working with, um, what sort of size yes. of team do you have? Yes, Kamal, um, when I last saw you, I was in a different capacity. I was the senior education officer looking after um, the, the, I mean, the course as community engagement coordinator. But right now I am in, in a senior officer, um, senior education officer role looking after the AMEP program for the Southwest region. So I look after the seven colleges in the Southwest region and um, that's what I do. We, we receive these newly arrived migrants and we deal with them on an everyday basis. It is the, the journey that they go through. We are being a part of that journey, supporting and guiding them right from the time they step into our, our premises. And we see them, um, we, see, we make sure that they are transitioned very smoothly to whatever they aim at. Okay, excellent, okay. And, and uh, a, a last question for you, just to make it clear, and I actually should ask Thrive the same question. I actually, what we'll do, we said we'll send out some, some details after the event. So we'll send out contact details and entry points for some of the different organizations to the, um, to the participants today. I was gonna ask you about the entry points, but we'll send that out. In a Lovely, thank Thanks. you. Thanks very much, Ms. Lynn. Thank you very much for that. Um, Rachel, yes. Um, I was gonna say that I think what we need to do better is work better together. I think the the task, the it's not a task, the 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 opportunity that we have been given, I think, not only in a volunteer capacity, but in a paid capacity for many of us, um, is the opportunity to welcome. And often it it's a broken welcome. Um, and I think we could get better at, at a more holistic welcome not only as individuals and organizations but as community and certainly as a country um, so i think where we should be focusing on is being better together and and what does a, a holistic welcome look like from a from a sector from a group of individuals who are striving for humanitarian excellence i guess that's yeah Thank you very much. Uh, I, 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 I take, the, take the point of listening and working together is very important. And um, on the chat, uh, uh, Magdalene's just popped up, I think a really valuable comment for people to read. So, um, and I, I'd second what Magdalene's written on the, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, uh, chat as well. Um, Jadwiga, do we have, uh, have you managed to, to work out the, the IT issues as yet? So can, we, can we hear you? Okay, we shall we shall move. 
Okay. I oh, know they're trying. They're okay, getting a message from Jedwiga. They're trying to work out their IT issues. Hopefully, that'll be done. That'll be done soon. So, um, uh, uh, not not Gus nor Stevens. Other uh, 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 others that are, that are with us today. How could we do welcome better? And I'm going to uh, to pinpoint some of the MRC staff in a moment as as well in that space. So uh, so I'll open it first before we tap on the sh on the shoulders. But um, uh, what? How how can we do? How can we do welcome better? Um, perhaps we could hear from, um, from, oh, I'm going to uh, try to decide between Anna Marie and Tahira. Anna Marie, I'll put you on the spot if you're, if you're still with us. Um, how can we do welcome better? Um, I, I was, I was going to bust my scarf, it's so cold in my house, apologies, that I've been on a video off there. Um, I've been really loving listening to people say a really, um, reflecting what BJ was saying in regards to listening to community. And I think of welcome, I actually think about how welcomed I feel by the communities that we work with that you know they I, I'm a migrant and I've come to Australia some years ago from, from the UK but I so often feel such a warm welcome from our our clients and communities that we work with and how beautiful that is and I was thinking um, reflecting on how we do things better and I think the something we strive for at the MRC and I know lots of people do is that being the one-stop shop that no wrong door approach to support for people and that um you know as our systems in australia are incredibly confusing for you know those of us who live here and speak english and have been here our whole lives and alone so it's just arrived so really being able to welcome someone um, and not have to throw them through the um some of the craziness so kind of wherever someone goes to have that um open door and support i think is incredibly helpful and then um sharing our experiences I've had some great opportunity this week to sit with um, our community and actually you know, just just listen to people's experiences and sharing them that we have that commonality and that makes us all that makes us one and makes us like what's australia is great as well thank you very much anna thank you thank you for that long contribution I, i'd like i I'd, I'd, I'd like to hear also from uh, from uh, from one of the direct facing staff in the organization so uh, Nat natalie uh, are you with us, would you like to say a couple of words as to how we could do things? Yes, Kamal, thank you. Um, basically, uh, my position is as a caseworker with settlement team. So uh, we, all of us, we basically try to empathize with our clients, put ourselves into their shoes and listen to their um, problems and their issues and not um, judge and and hope and support. And I think this is what makes us really good with our clients and uh, and provide good reputation in our community is that we basically um, open our heart to people and people trust us and open up to us. And that's very important. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, come on. Thank you, Natalie. So opening up and being sincere, and there are some, some commonality in themes and welcoming and sincere and being warm and, and listening. And, and there are all, all recipes I think that we know and all that we do very, very well as, as, as well. So, so thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I, I'm going to have to give apologies to Edwiga. I think we, we, we didn't get the IT working and um, I'd, I'd like to, uh, to, to just open up if there's any last comments to be made and then we can move on a little bit further with uh, with uh, with uh, uh, a song and and perhaps a poem and uh, <laughs> to see how we go from there. Pio's got very excited with that prospect. So uh, last opportunities for that somebody, somebody to say something extra in addition as to how they demonstrate welcome or what more that we can do. Mal, can I just jump in there also before Nada goes? Um, just to build on what um, VJ and uh, and Natalie have said. In my own personal life and um, the way that I say welcome is through acceptance so I guess through accepting and really like what uh, Vijay said embracing that those differences and that diversity but also not trying to mold you to be like me just allowing you to be who you are where you are in your journey in life um, and, and in that non-judgmental way that Natalie um, spoke about excellent wow thank you thank you very much I'm very very they're great points. I'm always very welcome when, when Karen I, always speaks up. It's can I add something, Kamel? Yes, sure. Yeah, um, just from my experience, um, like one of, uh, I was one of the students of AMFA program and 
that open a lot of opportunities for me for work and for education but um if like you said how can we um, welcome and how can we um, do this like better together so I believe if we all like the local organization can like have like a welcome kit at like schools or like at um, the English um, um, uh, schools um, because for example let's say like a harmony day so harmony day was only um, organized at the school so I was still in the same circle seeing the same people but if we do this event or um, programs like um, with external organization, uh, it will be like, we'll create more um, connection. And then also like, it will be an opportunity to see what's out there. For example, this is just like a simple um, example. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good, good point, Nadia. Thank you. And I think we should consider that. We'll take that on board Thank you. as AMEP providers. Thank you. I, I uh, excellent. I think I think it's a service delivery space. I do go back and having 17 years in the space, have a bit of a memory. There was actually a welcome kit that we developed some years ago in cooperation with council. Um, these things get dated and no longer being used, but perhaps that's something that we can we can work together towards producing and see what we can do with council in that space. Um, not necessarily having to put Nathan on the spot, but Nathan wants to say something, and then we'll go, then we'll go to Nada. Yes, Nathan. Um, yeah, we tried doing, we, we've, we put something up last year in regards to, I guess, welcoming people to Liverpool um, and happy to dig that out and see what we did and, and you know, if need be, conflict of interest and all that, uh, put people in, you know, get a conversation going between the MRC and, and council as to welcoming people. Um, but that, that actually came out of a conversation uh, we had in um, in Holdsworth, you've got a lot of army families that come to the base, and and I guess there's a there's a need to welcome them to the community. They're, you know, some of them stay here for eighteen months to two years and come and go, and just as much as um, you know, new arrivals to Australia, we have new arrivals to Liverpool, and it doesn't matter where they come from when they come to our community, we need to welcome them. So um, happy to happy to take that one up and uh, outside of this and, and and do a bit of legwork. So yep. Okay. Oh, there's, 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 a, there's, there's a project we can work on. Excellent. And, and I, council will be involved, but the service providers, such as the AMEP providers, absolutely need to be involved in that space. And, uh, and, and I'd say uh, you know, the other SSI as well, and that, that exercise, so we can, we can build on that uh, as well and, and, and pass that through. So that's a great opportunity. Nada wanted to say something, and then, and then uh, if we don't get Jedwigi with us, then we'll have to, uh, we'll go to, to a song. Nada, did you want to say something? Have I lost another? I've lost it on my screen. Okay, maybe a bit of IT trouble. Okay, well, um, the show will go on. And with that, uh, Pio, uh, would you uh, would like to unmute yourself? And and he has promised a song, so we'll go. We'll go to a song, and then we'll go to we'll, we'll go to, uh, to, uh, to to Rachel after that, please. Thank you, Tamar. So. Um... <laughs> This year at the MRC family, we um, have uh, an anthem to celebrate uh, Refugee Week. And it's very simple. The words are, welcome to my heart. And I'm going to sing it first time. And I know it doesn't sound good when we're all singing together, but do your magic, Rach, and get this one together. So <laughs> well, there's magic and there's miracles. <laughs> Welcome to the heart, welcome to the heart, welcome to the heart. And one of the most important thing, I think, um, when we welcome people is to sit with them, you know, to take the time to be with them. And so the, the next lyrics of our refugee song for 2020 is, come and sit with me. So I'm going to sing it first, and then we're going to join. When Rachel will say mango, and then we all join in together. All right, that's our key word. So here we go. Welcome from the heart. Oh, okay. No, that's a different note. Welcome. Welcome from the heart. Thank you. Welcome from the heart. Welcome.
just joined in after the poem was read can i ask that we hear the poem again oh, uh, well we, what we're going to do is if that, we've, we've got we've got something to to to, oh, okay. to okay. move on with and thank you very much for that po and we might we might actually get the poem again if we get time but we've got some info, we've got some stuff um rachel um i i thought it would be nice for us to just learn welcome in um sign language um and it might be american sign and not auslan so i apologize but um it's a simple sign of welcome um and i've got it i'm playing it <laughs> but it's welcome welcome and i thought it's Something that I know Pio actually does a lot. She always, always has her hand on her heart. And I think that's another sign of welcome for me. It's another sign of showing somebody um, that they are being seen, that they are here in your space and that you feel them. Um, so welcome, welcome. It start, so, so Rachel, it starts up because the camera, the camera uh, uh, cuts you off a little bit. <laughs> so it's welcome. Welcome. So it starts off palm down yeah. and you open the palm up as you bring it to your heart. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you very much. I, I learned something. There, there, there you go. Tafe, you've got competition. There. Something, <laughs> something got a line. <laughs> Not at all. Thank you very much. Well That's said. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, Pio mentioned, um, and it was, was Pio, thank you very much for the song. This is a, this is a celebration of refugee week. So it's really nice to get some music and some song into that space. And we can, we, we celebrate refugee week. So thank you very much for that Pio. I'm going to, uh, to go, we've got some poems as well. And we talked, Jazz opened up with a poem and we're going to finish up with a sense of poem. Um, and one thing I didn't check before we started, so I have actually three poems here. Are we doing the three poems or one, one poem? I guess they're not poems, they're more um, statements I guess, from um, individuals, kind of, um, they've been probably turned into memes and plaques now, um, but just things to kind of, for us to be reflective about and kind of hold with us in order to inspire us to be better, um, for ourselves and for everyone. So um, some of the team from the MRC are actually going to read those. And we'll start um, with Jazem, then Nadia, and then Sophia. Uh, first of all, welcome. And uh, this is Gizem. Oh, okay, here I go. Um, you, are wel you are welcome here. This is your new home. Be at your ease. We are happy to share with you, such as we have got everything for your comfort and strong coffee in the pot. You don't have to thank us or laugh at our jokes. This is your new home, and now you're one of you are one of the folks. Thank you very much. Thank Giselle. you. Thank you. Thank you, Gizem. I guess I'm next. <laughs> We have before you go on. We have we have coffee. We have coffee here, but I think I, I make it a prerequisite of staff. You've got to laugh at my jokes. So, <laughs> so the KPIs that we have. <laughs> no, not really, not at all. Okay, sorry, Nadia, please. All right, so I'll go ahead with my European accent. <laughs> um, we are made for goodness. We are made for love. We are made for friendliness. We are made for togetherness. We are made for all the beautiful things that, that you and I know. We are made to tell the world that there are no outsiders. All are welcome. We all belong to this family, this human family. And that's said by this Montutu. Thank you very much. That's the resident, uh, Reverend Desmond Tutu. Thank you very much for that, uh, for that, Nadia. 
Okay, and uh, 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 in that series of three, I think we, we go to Sophia. Let me just unmute myself. You are unmuted. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Sophia, and um, I'm the executive assistant at MRC. My screens are not uh, working with me today. I apologize. Um, okay. So, um, this um, statement was made by our beautiful Brianne Brown. Um, and it goes like this. Connection is the energy that is created between people when they feel seen, heard and valued. When they can give and receive without judgment. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sophia, uh, with that. Um, we are coming close to the to to uh, twelve o'clock, and and um, uh, as I said, that we, we took time as as a celebration. With there were some really common themes about welcome, and, and as I said, we saw welcome and how it's demonstrated in different spaces. Um, uh, we've seen we've got some homework to do. We we'll look at the welcome pack together. I think we've committed to working more collaboratively together, working forward as well. So, uh, uh, and, and as a celebration, I think this is this is great. Um, and and uh, and a thank you very much for your participation. However, before we close off, I think we started with the poem, and I'd like to end with the poem because some people missed out on it as well. Jazz, if I can put you on the spot, could you possibly reread your poem, which was very moving and very heartfelt, and that I think would also make, in addition to being the opening, a really nice close to the event. I think I put Jazz on the spot there. My memory is not good enough to do that one. Okay, so uh, so perhaps perhaps we'll, you know, it will be available. It's been recorded, and this will be available as well. And and what I'll do is I'll take the opportunity to thank everyone for their participation, their contribution. I hope that you enjoyed the session. I hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll look out on social media posts for the videos that keep coming through, and uh, and do like them and share them. I think it's been a great contribution from the people that have that have joined and listened to us. J Jazz is with us. Do you want to read? Do you want to do the poem again? Jazz, and then we'll finish off with that. Thank you, Jazz. I'm so sorry. I was just in a phone call. Could you tell me what the request was again? We would like. We uh, we thought it was such a much such a moving and nice poem. We started with the poem. We thought we'd like to finish with the poem. Could you possibly reread the poem for us? Yes, absolutely. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, let me find where I put it on my computer. Um, thank you again while I just pull this up. Thank you. So okay. as, as, as you're doing that, I know that you're the inaugural winner of the, um, of the uh, uh, which award was it? The, uh, the Auntie Kerry Reed Gilded Poetry Prize. So does that make it now the money award? Is that, is that what it's called? <laughs> the big money prize? Um, <laughs> No, it, I, it's so beautiful to win um, something named after Annie Kerry. She um, was a huge champion of Wiradjuri folk and as was her father. So um, it's, it's a big honour. Um, I, 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 do, I do say in jest, but I, 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 do <laughs> not, I wanted to highlight the honour as well. So, uh, so and, and, and so how fortunate we are to have you with us today as well. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so I'll, here, here we go again. Do you hear the land's heartbeat, warm from the first sunrise, from the footsteps of the ancestors who woke the land? Do you hear the way it carries ripples out from the center, on the sand and on the tides? The rivers know it, the gum and the wattle and the breeze knows it. The bright moments of stars guide us. It is a kindness, it is a generosity. It is saying, I see you whole and here, complete and here. With all that you've been through and all that you've brought and all that you've had to leave behind. A heartbeat saying, thank you for sharing your strength. 
Thank you for adding to the pulse of this land. Saying I'm sorry that the journey isn't always easy and the people are not always kind. This is something the land knows all too well. Hear the heartbeat of the land saying welcome. We are together now, one home. So that when we fight, we fight together as one, one heartbeat in which we can hold one another, heal one another, saying welcome from this heart to yours.